Hello YouTubers, this is Kevin here and today we're going to be uh, swapping out a diesel fuel filter for a 2013 Volkswagen Passat. Uh, a few things you're going to need right off the top, of, off the top. Uh, some rubber gloves unless you want your hands smelling like diesel all day, a T20 torque screw, your fuel filter OEM or aftermarket whichever you prefer I'd rather go OEM and in my situation here I don't know if someone lost a torque screw prior but there's an eight millimeter uh, bolt right here that needs to be removed so and an additional thing if you got a magnet a telescoping magnet just in case you drop a screw that help a little magnetic tray so you don't lose any more of your uh, screws or bolts or anything of the sort you might also want to have a rag old pair of jeans t-shirt something just to keep any diesel fuel from falling around everywhere also slow down any uh, screws or bolts that may fall down into the engine compartment uh, removing your fuel filter is actually pretty simple for the 2013 Volkswagen Passat just go ahead and remove all your torque screws here So I'm going to put this one on tight. There we go. And there's all the torques. Go ahead and take off the 8 millimeter nut here. Sorry about the sniffling, it's kind of cold out right now. About 30 degrees, give or take, out, in, out here in Colorado. And after that, she's pretty much loose. Go ahead and shimmy it off and... Some diesel fuel will spill out. That's why you have your rag all around. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is pretty much it right there. I want to lift her out slowly to prevent more fuel from spilling everywhere. Typically try to keep a plastic bag and a rag nearby. Wrap the uh, old fuel filter in a rag so it doesn't precipitate through the bag if there's any holes anywhere. It may take a little bit to get most of the fuel out of it, just hovering above the uh, fuel filter canister here. Almost all the diesels out of the old fuel filter. Give it a little shake. And just to prevent any diesel getting anywhere else on your vehicle, you want to wrap it up with something. Rag, whatever spare you got. You can go ahead and toss her in a trash bag or some sort of plastic bag. Alright, now we get to the uh, brand new clean OEM filter. Nice and clean. I'm 
All right, now there's really only one way you can set this thing in. You just drop it straight down. This hole has to be top center. It's pretty basic, nothing fancy. Set her on in. Now, this whole canister isn't completely full with diesel, so instead of cranking your engine and trying to get the whole thing to prime, which can take some time, possibly burn out your starter or, and or battery life, uh, it's good to have a spare can of diesel and or injector cleaner just to top off the canister here. I have uh, some diesel clean injector cleaner, so I'm just going to top it off with that. Just gonna let it pour off to the to the sides here. Oop, that's making a mess. It's kind of a tight spot to be pouring in right here. There we go, she's pretty much about full right there. And that's where I'm gonna leave her. Go ahead and close that so I don't spill it. Now, it's pretty much the reverse order right here. Line up your holes and make sure this center tube goes down the center hole of your filter. Shimmy it on in. Start putting your torque screws back in. Just gonna go ahead and get them finger tight right now so I get it all lined up. For the most part they are finger tight and I'll start off with this back one over here since I had the hardest time actually trying to get that tightened down just want to get them snug for the first pass Back around, tighten them down. Don't get it too tight, don't over tighten. You don't want to strip anything or snap the heads off these torque screws here. And last but not least. And that's pretty much it. Now the next step is pretty much just to uh, get her fired up and should fire right up right away. Well, she fired right up. And that's pretty much the gist of it, ladies and gentlemen. So changing your diesel fuel filter isn't very difficult at all. By all means, it can be done. It should take no more than 10 minutes tops. Uh, the basic person can do this. Just go ahead and uh, Go down to your local Volkswagen dealership or auto parts store and figure out what fuel filter you need. I'll go ahead and uh, put a link below on the part number for the OEM fuel filter for the 
2013 Volkswagen Passat TDI. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all have a good one.